is based largely on the people who populated then surely look at that side there this must be one of the most turbulent and exciting sporting areas in the world I'm sure the Dundee United supporters back home will be glad to know that the Dundee United players were warned about the tangerine smoke that was going up I think it's a very appropriate color United about to play the 54th European tie in front of a 90,000 crowd generating gate receipts which is a new record for Italian football of 565,000 pounds a mind-boggling figure United only 90 minutes away from one of the greatest crimes in European history when you consider that 25 years ago Dundee United is a very small club was struggling almost at the bottom of the heap of Scottish uh, Football League and here they are waiting for this whistle to start by the referee Michel Votro from France who's considered one of the best in Europe and he'll need to be because there were hints in the first game of some turbulence and then it's Hamish McAlpin get a good hard look at the ball Swept back there and confident. Look at the height of the bounce. Ooh, la la. <laughs> the goalkeeper, Franco Tancredi, who had an enormous blunder at Tanadice, hasn't missed a game in three years, by the way, for his club. <laughs> well structured, well coached uh, team, but. It will require more than that today. Eamon Banner to take that free kick. Raw nerve and courage, I think that's the phrase you might use for what must be attained by everybody on this United side. I must say the home crowd and the home journalists are very confident that Roma will go through by something like three or four goals. Bannon. Well, that's not a bad ball. Corner kick. And Jim McLean has been emphasizing since he arrived in Rome that 2-0 up in Roma is a very good lead indeed. And now they're looking free kick. A corner kick. Bannon. Almost getting the turn. Mal pass. Rather blindy by the sun. Free kick to Roma. I may say United are very favoured by the weather. It was extremely hot yesterday, but there's a nice cool breeze, and I believe, if my informants are correct, that it's uh, warmer in many parts of Scotland than it is in Rome. And that is not displeasing United. That's Nella. Only one change in the Roma team from the side that played a couple of changes, rather nappy at fullback and plays the body. And of course, the great Falcao comes into midfield, the Brazilian international. position, a couple of uh, loose, loose reds still out there. Very strong wind blowing. Seems to be kind of diagonally from uh, left to right from the top left corner as you look down to the bottom right. But at this stage favoring Roma. Well, it looks as if there's going to be a looking here for Morris Malpas for that tackle. And Malpas is good. I think that's rather severe. They've got to be very careful, of course. They've uh, already had players booked in the previous ties. Hegarty, Bannon, Goff and Holt. Another booking for either, for any of these players if uh, the United did get into the final 
He wouldn't make an appearance. De Bartolome will answer Benini. Fall down in deep. Eamon Bannon. Falcao. The genius in his side. Bit of uh, doubts about his fitness, though. For Hegarty. And brilliant this time. Hamish McAlpin. Say that's the kind of start that McCalton likes in a game. The referee comes from the South Zone in France. And is in fact a journalist. who scored that very vital goal in the first leg. Stunnock. Whipped away there by Righetti. Neri. Falcao. And already number seven, Conti, with a long, flowing lock. Who played brilliantly for Italy in the World Cup. He's already seen a lot of the play. He's got to be a danger man. Malthus. Dodds. Stark. Serezzo tried to pick him up. There's Malthus. Neat little run by the fullback. Stark. Oh, superb play by Stark. That's Bannon. And take it by Tancredi. Blinking into the sun. So I'm quite sure that uh, Jim McLean has emphasized to his players not to, to mix it needlessly in this atmosphere. He's a high quality referee, but uh, nevertheless, they are susceptible to these environments at, from time to time. Righetti. Put back there by Derek Stark. And a free kick to United. The long one for Stark. Cover there by Nella. United, of course, playing an all white today. Beautifully swept forward. Graziani, Sorezzo, Falcao. Useful looking ball and picked up there by Richard Goff. There's Malthus. It must be unsettling for a young player like Boris Malthus. No matter how able he is, and he's shown it in the past, to be booked so early in the game. to be taken by the captain, De Bartolome. Graziani tries to lay it back. Serezzo. Conte. No. It's, it's off. It's been chopped off. The linesman has given offside. It must either be off this the ball whipped into the net and clearly offside certainly Hamish McAlpin made absolutely no effort to save that you've got to put that down as a let off Righetti Malpas But it's gone. Still no scoring. De Bartolome to Sorezzo, the Brazilian player with a lovely fluent touch to his play in midfield. Conti. Now this young player with the ball touching the back there has played number three Righetti at every international team for Italy at every level.
Nella. High and mighty and pretty futile. Well, the crowd has settled down there, and the one good factor about this stadium is it is an Olympic stadium, it is an, an athletics one, so there isn't that claustrophobic feel about it, and I'm quite sure the very experienced United team won't be intimidated by the sounds of the crowd. Serreto. Well, I hear we're having a little bother with uh, sound. I do apologize for that. I hope we get it right eventually. Malpas beautifully and coolly down. Takes a lot of nerve to do that with players pounding in behind you. Goff. And the foot was up very high by Goff, yes. Graziani didn't like it, neither did the referee. Exactly ten minutes gone, no scoring. Falcao, Righetti. Everybody, everybody bar the Italian keeper in the United half. Serezzo. Di Bartolomei. Free kick. The Italians certainly walked the opening. A gap suddenly appeared and maybe not such a bad thing, but they could be vulnerable from this. Sorrento goes into the wall. De Bartolome might take it. So also Conte. And Maldera. There's Maldera. Solid white ball. And that shot from Falcao. Well, the manager, Jim McClay, was emphasizing to everybody, the Scottish press, that under no circumstances would the strategy be to defend near their own penalty area. They tried that against the Yugoslavians and Ratnishki Nish a couple of seasons ago and were lost three goals in the last 20 minutes and went out of the tournament. They learned their lessons from that. Beautiful flick to Sorrento, but let me emphasize the pitch looks quite immaculate, but it is hard and fast and the ball is flying at speed. Bannon. Well, it seems to me that uh, Bruno Conti just stood in his way. The referee, Monsieur Votro, an absolute stickler for detail. That's where the free kick ought to be taken from. Conti. This is number two, Nappy, the man they brought in for this game, an attacking fullback. De Bartolome. Oh. No chance there for Maldera. No. I think United will want to see more goal going forward. No is a much, much better player when he's going for the goal line. He's got pace and control. David Dodds. Bannon. No free kick. Picked up by Falcao. Oh. Makes it look easy. Sorrento picks it up. And it's swept back there to McAlpin. Good covering by Derek Stark. Derek Stark, of course, one of these players manufactured, if you like, by Jim McLean, can play in virtually any position.
Brigetti hands it over to the captain, De Bartolome. Nappi. United players complaining that Conti had handled that. Nell on the break. Ooh, that was an opening again, and Morris Balpas, admirably cool. Goff. Still a bit of noise in the crowd, but uh, infinitely more subdued. Then uh, just before kickoff, it was an incredible cacophony of sound. Nappy. Number seven, Conti, the man who laid on two goals for Paolo Rossi in the final of the World Cup. There he is again. Malpas goes with him. Conti. Delighted mashing the penalty area. Conti forced to go way back again. There's Bill. Graziani and the free kick given. And I think any tackle from the back like that will bring the penalty. Graziani right in the middle of the picture there. The Brazilian Falcao to take it. Calls it low and the corner. Off Dave Neri. I wonder if you can recollect Falcao taking his corner kick, the man who scored that quite superb last goal against Scotland in Seville for Brazil. Away by start. I think you may have got it in. Where the expertise comes. Ball curved towards the touchline. Serezzo. Nella. Hamish McAlpin, quite untroubled by that. McAlpin, a regular in the European game since 1977, September 1977. Amazing record. Bannon. Billy Kirkwood. Ralph Bell. This is Bell. That's not a bad ball, and I think Sturrock's offside. Well, I think uh, United have midfield players and attackers like Miller to try and release United from the kind of defensive bondage they're in at the moment. Push forward a bit with with prudence. Neri. Paul Haggerty. Nella watches it. On it goes to De Bartolome. Ooh, bad slip by Serenzo. That's a good ball, and that is given offside. Well, I wonder if our colleagues at Italian television will show us the replay of that. Well, I'm glad I'm told we've eradicated our sound problems. Forward comes Richard Goff. Now Mill. Starak took his eye off it slightly. This is Eamon Bannon. Bannon on a very good run. Well, that's a great effort. No, no. Uh, oh, dear, oh, dear. That was a very bad miss indeed. Billy Cook was fuming about it. The good run by Bannon. A ball that utterly deceived the goalkeeper. Look at that, that ought to be put away, and Mill totally panicked. 
And that's what the Italians, of course, have at the backs of the minds. No matter how much they press, United can still come forward like that. Very bad miss. It may turn out to be crucial. Falco in the penalty area. It's away wide. And there's McAlpin. A lot of the coolness of this Dundee United performance in defense stems from McAlpin. He's the most blasé character you can meet in the business. Kirkwood goes after it. Rigetti forced into that pass back. 20 minutes gone, no scoring. And that's the vital period that United have come through. Well, the Italian crowd don't like it, but he, he made room for himself. It was intelligent play by the fullback, Nappy. Push forward there by Nella. Maldera. I think Roma might be wanting to pull United forward a little bit, get in behind them again. Certainly playing patiently in that. Looked offside to me and whipped away by David Neri. Will be marked down as the danger man, Conti. And uh, Graziani on the flanks. And there is Conti. Oh, that's a goal. Beautifully put in. One nothing for Roma. And the leading goal scorer, Prozzo. Getting his head right behind it. And that is a very crucial goal. Prozzo was the leading goal scorer for the club. 21 minutes gone, Roma are in the lead. And now the pressure will really be on United. Very nervy looking ball that from uh, Richard Goff. No. Just gets away. The long ball to Sturrock. Simply doesn't have the control. Falcao. The Italians as you can see, quite happy to play patiently for possession. As to that slip, Nappy, one or two of the players got out like that. There's Jim McLean, I think annoyed by a defensive lapse that uh, evidence of which we saw in one of the, the rounds, the previous rounds for the cross ball. But there is a good ball to start. And now Mill. Ooh, that's a wild tackle. Free kick. Mill to take it. Nowhere near Sturrock. Mill, David Dodds. Well, Billy Kirkwood trying to come through. The break by Conti. Sorenzo not near it. And I think there's no way that United can hold out now, hoping that they won't score another one. They've really got to try and put the ball in the net now. Here's Sturrock. Brought down again. Free kick.
Goff. Guards on his own. Graziani. Free kick to the Italians. Graziani. Who missed an absolute sitter at Tanadice. Falcao. A oh, beautiful play. Now is there. And that's a goal kick. Like misunderstanding there between Hegarty and Goff. The Italians touching it about uh, confidently. Maldera to De Bartolome. I hope I'm absolutely wrong, but you get the impression the Italians are playing this around as if they know the goals will come eventually, all that they need. Hegarty. Now, United must try to strike back quickly. No. What about soft looking the way he tried to pass his man? And United need a touch of inspiration from somebody. There's Falcao, there's a run by Sorezzo. to Maldera. Here's David Gordes. Wants it on to Bannon. And that'll be a corner kick. <laughs> I saw the referee hesitating, but uh, there's no question about it was a corner. Him and Bannon. Yet to score in Europe this season. Well, thank credit the goalkeeper. 200 league appearances. One of the most consistent players in Italian football. Just beyond Falcao. Stark. Free kick. Referee did like that tackle from the rear. Ooh, just touched away. The tackling far too soft. That is Graziani. Di Bartolome. Serezzo. Trying to get it to Conti again. How effective that man has been for them. Start out, beautiful little touch. Now David Dodds. And uh, quite clearly, you like you to play against a very stiff breeze out there. That might be a little too hard. Oh, Bruno Conti. His genius we've already seen in the World Cup. Milne doing a bit of attacking. Ralph Milne, a very temperamental player. On his game, he can be absolutely brilliant. There's nothing quite like him in Scottish football for pace and for aggression and control but 
sometimes it doesn't come. Goff. Starak not quite there. Sorenzo is. Wanting a forward run, there's a brilliant ball, and McAlpin commits himself. He has to, and races back. For the first time I've seen Hamish McAlpin do that. Graziani. Throwing himself, surely. Yes. Such a recognition there by David Neri for the quick-sighted referee. That's the free kick to United. Hamish McAlpin still impassively chewing gum. 15 minutes of this uh, first half remaining, United trailing by one goal to nil. We are pushing by David Dodds quite clearly. United will certainly have to utilize the wind in the second half and get some running from Sturrock and Dodds. Bannon, Milne. It's all been a bit too obvious so far. Sorezzo. De Bartolome. That's Maldera. The goal scorer, Pruzzo. Graziani. An inviting ball, and McAlpin right off the head of Sorezzo. And the way Sorrento went into the goalkeeper brings the free kick. <laughs> Offside. Pruzzo couldn't get back quickly enough. And uh, it's Nappi who is down there. Michele Nappi. Might be feeling the pace a little bit. He's the oldest player in the side at 33. Tall figure in the background of Rigetti, only 21 years of age. Real mega star in the making. Valdera, offside, Graziani. And apart from what I thought was a soft booking, the officials have handled the game extremely well. That's a bit of touch by Dodds. Stuck. Here's Bannon. Brundles are very difficult to keep control. Falcao and uh, Nappi behind him. There's Falcao. Eases it back. Always gets himself into a good position. Pruzzo. Falcao. Di Bartolome. Maldera. There's Conte beginning to come into the center of the field now. Right foot this time and right off goal. There will be the shot. And De Bartolome. I think he muffled his shot in some way. Ball might just have bobbled as it reached him. Bannon chases. Paul Stark is offside.
And as I said earlier, it's just as well that the temperatures are not as intense as they were yesterday afternoon. It is considerably cooler. That's a free kick. Conte. Conte and Graziani have switched wings. Hegarty's there. David Dodds. Ten minutes of the first half left. Still one nothing. Two one in aggregate. And I think that's another offside. Done there by Billy Kirkwood. I think that was accidental. It was the way Conti went suddenly quickly round, catching Gopa. There's Salcao. Serezzo. Number eight. Maldera. Di Bartolome. Falcao has made the forward run, and away goes Derek Stark. It was a dreadful ball by Stark. They could be punished for it. Falcao picks it up. De Bartolome lying behind Falcao. Now Milne. It's more pace from Milne. Gets a bit of support, and again... Number four, Sebastian Nella. <laughs> Graziani outside. Neri. Billy Kirkwood trying to follow up. In the previous round, uh, United against Rapid Vienna showed terrible defensive lapses for the, the high cross balls. I think this must have been noted in the videos which uh, Roma have been watching. They're certainly be getting Graziani and Conti to the line and sweeping the ball across, and that's exactly how the, the goal came. Serezzo. Very patient build-up. This is Sorrento. Graziani. De Bartolome, the long run there by Maldera. And that's put away, put up in Cristo. It's taken. I think he's going to leave the stadium. A simple looking goal. Deadly finishing. Round he turns. And a toe ender well beyond McAlpin. 38 minutes of the game gone and the aggregate two all now. not entirely black despair for United, but the trend, you might say, is uh, a little pessimistic.
The goals are absolutely essential. David Dodds. Sorezzo. Graziani. Roma flowing with an urgency. Graziani, free kick. Falcao. Maldera. Serezzo. Conti. Stark got behind it, but it is still dangerous, and there's Haggerty. Being pushed all away, Paul Starak, by Rigetti. Golf. Starak just laying it off and there is nobody inside. That won't be kept in. And quite obviously, United would do themselves a proud of good to put one in the net in this half. I still think if they get a goal, they'll go through to the final. But their performance at the moment is lacking in substance. Nobody is lifting them. The Italians are playing in little effective spots. And that seems to be enough. Sarezzo behind it. Bruno Conti. Much too hard. Three minutes of the first half left. Bannon. Stunner brought down again by Rigetti. Done with a frequency which I think deserves a booking. He's certainly going to be lectured by the referee. I think the referee is... Ah, yes. He's telling Holt. I think he thought Holt was coming on as a substitute. He's not, in fact. He is warming up. He told him to get back from the touchline. Stark. Malpas. Richard Goff can't get that. United now too frequently are being hurried into mistakes. De Bartolome. Oh, what a superb pass. Well, the only thing wrong with that is that it was played on this very fast and furious pitch. Other than that, it was sheer perfection. That is John Holt. Sevidoz barging. One minute of this half left, plus perhaps a few seconds of injury time. Well, I think the entire Scottish contingent dampened by the very fact that Rome have retrieved the situation in the first 45 minutes. 
Catch got to put a bold face on it. Conti. Conti, a real homer. We never saw him at Tanadice. Just didn't want to know it across there. And now, flourishing tremendously. Sarezzo lays it back. Corner kick. Italian football is always full of choice little moments like that. The quick spot, the, the piercing pass. And if their game is based purely on skill, and they do get through by that route, then nobody can complain at all. They are marvellous footballers when the occasion demands. Falcao. Yes. It'll be interesting to see that from behind the goal. I think offside given, but um, Hamish McAlpin a little surprised by the speed of the shot. United playing it safe as the first half ticks to an end. That's a free kick. Little apologetic touch there by Pruzzo, who in the Italian league has just scored his 100th goal and now has scored 10 European goals for his club more than handsomely paying his way. Well, there's a half-time whistle. The Roman crowd rising to Roma and particularly to Pruzzo. Roberto Pruzzo, 29 years of age, who has given Roma such a wonderful opportunity to reach the final, which is here, of course, in Rome in the month of May. An anxious-looking Jim McLean vanishing up the tunnel. Now, McLean's uh, team talks at half time when his side are in adversity are somewhat legendary. Let's put it this way, he needs throat lozenges when he comes out of the dressing room. And I think he's going to be giving his side a tongue lashing because although we know that uh, Dundee United the United can play pluckily. I think the performance this afternoon, to be honest, is lacking in the kind of stature demanding of a side only now 45 minutes away from a European Cup final. They tried to build on a solid defence but were caught napping. The first goal, a very well worth uh, taken goal by Pruzzo. The second one possibly avoidable, but good finishing. They will certainly have to tidy there, but Above all else, with the wind now at the backs, I think we should now see some more positive attacking and breaking, counter-attacking by Bannon and Milne in particular, if Milne stays on. It is interesting that John Holt was warming up just before half-time, and uh, indeed the Italians imagined that Holt might play in his game from the start, uh, with uh, the exclusion of Milne in the side. But we've really seen very almost nothing of the true Milne or Bannon or Paul Sturrock and David Dodds has hardly touched the ball. United really have nothing to lose now. They've really got to try and get the ball in the back of the net. There's no use defending now. They do. This team are going to score another goal. Maybe more than that. They've got to come out, be prudent in the way of the attack, but try and snatch one. And if they do, particularly early in the first half, as I say, I stand by the prediction that they would withstand any further onslaught and go through. So now then, we're going back uh, to Glasgow, but we'll be returning in plenty time for the start of what should be a very hectic second half. 
for European Cup football. The half-time score, AS Roma 2, Dundee United 0. The commentator is Archie McPherson. Welcome back to the Olympic Stadium. That's the kind of breeze that should be at the back of Dundee United. That will favour them in the second half, and they need all the favours that are going, believe you me, because the Italians certainly did turn on the style in the first half. I'm looking out very closely. John Holt has come on, and we'll just go through the list of players. He is the substitute, but there is a man who scored a couple of goals, the happiest man in Rome tonight, Pruzzo, Roberto Pruzzo. Milne is still on for Dundee United. That's the Roma equivalent of uh, Geraint Trumboys, and they have been doing that, backed by this 90,000 crowd, growing in confidence, absolutely essential for United United to put the ball in the back of that, and if they can do it in this first quarter, I'd still give them a very, very good chance indeed. John Holt. Derek Stark has uh, got off the United. And I think the referee angry about uh, Jim McLean coming to the touchline. Put Chevy on again, he is wont to do. So it's hold on for Stark. Stark, who by the way scored two superb goals, one against Roma and the other one against uh, Vienna Rapid. Bruzzo. Oh, Sorets on a very good run, appeals to the penalty. It isn't given. Tall, gangling figure, Sarazzo, when he made his first training appearance at the stadium here, when he came across from Brazil, 10,000 people turned up to watch the session. Now, Bannon. Milne. Back by a hole. Wild, wild tackle there. And that really deserves... I think there's a booking, yes for Aldo Maldera. Maldera booked for that. Maldera who has already been booked in the tournament and thereby will miss the final if Rome qualify. Richard Goff. A lot of pushing and jostling there. Hegarty back. There's John Holt. Bannon on the run. Go kick. Italian television picked up the substitution now. As I said, uh, United certainly were lacking substance in midfield. And Holt is a hard walker, hard tackler, if nothing else. Dodds. And if United are to go out, I hope the guard fighting. I hope they show something in this game yet. Graziani. The man who was there booked, Maldera. Stabbed away by Neri. Now David Dodds in the break. Sturrock. Sunned away by Nella. The Italians, of course, oozing with confidence. Miller, one of the younger players on the side, 23 years of age. That was a slack ball. That God, he simply went winning many balls in midfield in the first 45 minutes. Falcao.
The great beauty of Old Cow's play is that sometimes it's uh, unobtrusive. He's an enormous influence and in making simple little passes, but always effective. Nella. For Cow. Oh. Turning on the style. Zarezzo Pruzzo. And I think the free kick given for that tackle. As Pruzzo went down, the referee blew a free kick. Now, Maldera is the reputed free kick expert in the club. But I don't see him there, but Ptolemy. Maldera, in fact, going into the penalty area. Deba Ptolemy and Falcao preparing to take this one or the other. And Holt steps in. So, intelligent ball to the outside, Graziani. For Falcao. That's Conti. Oof. Richard Goff is a rather shaky performance. Free kick. Falcao. Richard Goff. Picked up by Billy Kirkwood. Oh, that was Graziani. Moving on again in the first game at Tanadise was wild with his tackling. Eamon Bannon. Just shepherded away to the corner there by the two players. Holt. Kekwood did make the challenge. Well, oh, that was... I, I would have thought that Mill missed an opportunity there. No, he was slightly taken on, but he gave up rather easily. David Dodds with a nice little touch, Sturrock. Oh. I think he deceived himself. The little figure down there, the blue-clad figure of uh, Jim McLean. Not at all happy with the way Sturrock so easily lost possession. David Dodds, Sturrock, Milne. Well, Nelly trying to pierce that defense with a long through ball. Graziani, slightly lucky on the break of the ball. And a good interception there by Morris Malpa, seeing the danger coming right across. Here's Falcao. Conti. Must be a chance and a swept pass by Prisco. Well, that goes down as a distinct chance. Just getting to it and uh, the wrong side. Almost like the goal, almost like his second goal. Falling as he took it. Nelly, being fouled, free kick. 
Well, by and large, the referee has had a firm grip of the game. He's in the UEFA squad of referees for the European Championships, of course. David Dodds, Mel. Yes, that's a free kick. Slightly delayed, I may say. Milner's given up. Thought he wasn't going to get it, but eventually did. Well, Milner about to take this. He scored four goals in Europe already this season. Well, Tancredi, apart from an early little hiccup, has looked solid. Not that he's been overworked. Prezzo. Richard Garth, Starak. Maldera. Appealing for offside, the United defence might have been caught. Graziani. Conti. A little bit of understanding. Billy Kirkwood. Opened it out very well to John Holt. That's a better looking ball. Better play by United altogether. Here's Dodds. That's a good looking ball. And Billy Kirkwood coming up. Yeah, the line's been indicating the push. Ralph Bill to take it. Graziani back defending. Tremendous work rate the man has. And look at that opening, it's Conti. Sorezzo screaming for the pass, brilliant play. He can knock it inside. This could be the end. <laughs> Little doubt about it. Here we are. Not even the slightest ripple of complaint as United pushing forward were cut out, and that is always the danger. Di Bartolome. 3-0. 12 minutes of the second half gone. Roma's captain. Icily cool about it all. Wrong putting Hamish McAlpin. And now United have to lift themselves, if they can, from this enormous burden on their shoulders. The lead, first of all, whittled away. And now they're trailing. Well, David Nelly doesn't like it, but the free kick is given. Falcao. People in the stadium standing and singing. There's only an Italian crowd knows how.
And the United players must still try and think of themselves as having a chance if they can score a goal. Brizzo Falcao. But the whistle's gone. The latest news I have about Liverpool, by the way, is that the score is 1-0 just before half-time in Bucharest. Which is a favourable score for the English side. The winners, of course, will come to Rome to play in the final. John Holt. Well, a friendly handshake, which turned into a little bit of jiu-jitsu, almost. And this is uh, now the third time that Roma have scored three goals this season in Europe in this stadium. Against Gothenburg, against Dynamo Berlin, and now against United. Offside, Terenzo. Referee, by the way, can speak fluently in English and Italian. And since he comes from the Sansong, he's not bad at French either. <laughs> oh, that's a bad one by Graziani. He tries to hide these tackles of his. David Dodds. Falcao, oh, little hurried, that's unlike him. Mark you, the Italians, when they turn it on, their style, the control is uh, quite superb. They have scored these three goals by playing good football. Just about 17 minutes of the second half gone. It's 3-0 for Roma. Rosa goes again, that's, uh, it, it certainly hasn't been a dirty game, but I don't mean just one or two bad balls in it, but much more benign than we expected. I think Hemi still thinks he can uh, salvage this game somehow. Of course, the whole complexion of the game would change if United could score. Malpass. Totoroma. De Bortelema. Graziani. God not taken on by the twisting figure of Graziani. 27 years of age. One of the highest scorers in Italian football. An almost continual din in the background. Ball throw. Holt. Stark. 
There has been a decided lack of conviction about United's attitude. Just that little spell before the third goal scored by Roma when it looked as if they might just do something with this Italian defence. But Stalak in particular has been marked off extremely well. Serezzo. Well, there's no question that the Italians think they're in the final, both on the terraces and on the field. Emmett Bannon, now. Well, both Ralph Bill and Eamon Bannon have been so easily dispossessed like that. Nevinelli. Bannon. I think that just had gone over before he touched it. Nils Lidon, the Swedish manager of this team, 62 years of age, played all his professional football in Italy, is contemplating leaving the club. I know there are offers in from uh, AC Milan, but if he were to pick up the European trophy, he may change his mind. There's a lot of money available in this city. There are dodge. Might be getting just a little too cocky, the Italians. Bannon. Oh, brought down very late with the referee waves play on. Here's Paul Sturrock. Neat touch. Brilliantly swept away there by Sebastian Nella. And now the counter-attack. Now David Nelly read it well. It's in midfield that United really have made nothing of this game. No. Simply found it very difficult to translate or convert that initial defensive solidity that they showed into anything worthwhile down the opposite end of the field because so much of the ball was won by the Italians. The passing better, and always so much faster on the counter-attack. No. <laughs> Almost impudent in the way it was executed. Graziani. Yeah, the linesman says that that indicates to the referee who gives the decision that that was a free kick. Big handling. We're halfway through the second half. by De Bartolome, Mill, happy enough just to push it out of the penalty area. Stabbing it forward to the big defender, Righetti. Haven't seen him breaking very often. There he is, Raghetti. Played for the professional youth, the under-21s, the under-23s, and the full international side. That's not a bad record for a young gentleman of 21 years of age. United are warming up the subs. 
The problem is with United, and I think Jim McLean acknowledges it, is that the, the players' squad simply isn't deep enough for football at this level. I mean, they've worked miracles to get through to this stage with basically 12 players of Premier Division, real Premier Division status. We must never underestimate that achievement. Richard Goff. Oh, pushed all the way, surely. <laughs> Referee thought. <laughs> it would be an interesting little ball game if United could put this on a net. There's a touch of arrogance now in the Italians' play that uh, could explode in the face if... So... These are oranges that have been taken off. They use here to pelt the players as they come on for their warm-up before the match started. Conti standing in front of it. Now Bannon. Somebody went down, it was off the ball. Hegarty. He really did take one. Solid club player, Paul Hegarty. Marvellous man to have around the club. Probing ball again, David Dodds, Stuck. There's Bannon on the run. Right off balance. <laughs> Referee telling uh, David Dodds to cool it. A little mixing of it with Maldera being diplomatic and also practical because Maldera has already been booked and by all calculations is out of the final if the score remains the same. Falcao, who is having a long rest. Moving around the edges of the game, not getting too involved. That was him pushing it forward to Graziani. There's Falcao, almost got away with it. Pulsa comes back, Sorezzo is fellow Brazilian. enough back the Italians give you the impression that they all they want to do in those games is they think they now have the measure of United is not to take them apart but just to score enough to get them through so that's on the break Falcao in the middle there he is chesting it away to the side Graziani Brilliant player, Graziani. I know there's a touch of conceit in some of the things he does, but he can afford to be like that for the skills that he has. Conti. Swerving ball, and there is nobody there for Rome. Bannon. Oh, that was quite blatant. It wasn't a savage foul, but it was a blatant foul.
John Holt. Nitty. Stoddock, Holt trying to go in. Easily broken up for Cal. Here's Stoddock with the shot. There's a deflection. Corner kick. One of the few efforts United have had in the game. Almost assisted in. Exactly 15 minutes left. United trailing an aggregate by one goal. John Holt. Solid defense there, but Mill has got to keep the pressure going, and that's a very, very poor ball. He gets a corner. De Bartolome a little bit slack about the way he tried to gather it. Little bit of gamesmanship there from Bruno Conti. Ooh, that was panicky. Bannon. Neatly pushed to the side, better play by United. Up comes David Neri. He tries a long one, and I think uh, put off by Nela coming towards him quickly. Well, the referee is going to have a word with uh, Jim McLean. I think uh, once again he came to the touchline, and this official will have none of it. Stark tried to go on the outside. That's a goal kick. Paul Sturrock, who rather amazingly hasn't scored a European goal. Of course, he's suffered from injury this season. He's, he's certainly not the Paul Sturrock we knew a couple of seasons ago. He doesn't have that electrifying dash that made him such a fine player. And uh, we're getting a substitution. Number 15 is coming on. Chirico. Now, Chirico, to my mind, you see him getting the tracksuit off. Chirico was the best uh, player that Roma had at Tanadice. Fast, tricky, played wide in the right, and continually bothered this United defense. Imagine this man coming on now with Roma in the driving seat. Bannon blatantly stopped by Serezzo. Now that is really is deserving of a booking. Bannon, Hegarty, well he was in a position to take it, just slightly forward, piece of the ball deceiving him. And Chirico is coming on for Bruzzo, I think it's Bruzzo coming off. Just under 12 minutes. Chirico brought down free kick. It, it does rather surprise me, though, that the 
Italians don't put themselves out of sight by exerting more pressure on United. Another goal would be would kill United. Colstone dead unless they think that three is enough. That three nothing is not a dangerous goal line to try to maintain. And on comes uh, John Clark. Paul Stark is off. A very tired looking Paul Stark, I may say. According to what we hear, it's still one all in Bucharest. That's a very good score for Liverpool. Bannon. That's a mistake, and Sorrento after it. Now, ten minutes left. Surely one last fling by United. Easily forward there by De Bartolome. Falcao. What's a slack-looking ball. Paul Hegarty coming forward. Hegarty, who scored eight goals in Europe, not bad for a central defender. Everybody by Hamish McAlpin in the Italian half. Neri, late tackle. Referee doesn't blow, Neri didn't like it. Neri goes forward again, that's not a bad ball. Clark tries to go in. Swept away there again by Nella. Hegarty pushing forward and it's a free kick. Very quickly taken. Intelligent one. Bannon. Oh, that's nervy. But this is what, I mean, I, I just do not understand these Italian tactics now. I mean, they, they look as if the, the ability to take this uh, United defence apart must have shown in spots. And yet, one goal by United now and the fans and the fire, as they say, with only oh, eight minutes remaining. Wasted ball by Malpas, I think trying to get it forward to Milne again. Now, good tackle by John Holt, who has added a bit of substance to United's midfield. Chirico. Holt, uh, Brad Bill, another free kick. Seven minutes left. Nitty to Holt to Billy Kirkwood. Kirkwood running David Dodds. Bannon looks for it. Free kick. Nappy, not at all concerned about how he brought that move to an end. Simple but effective foul. Conte getting in the way. Now, United. Way to the far post. And Hegarty trying to get from the back. I don't know why Maldera was losing the head there. Di Bartolome, the captain, beside the referee. Making life slightly difficult for themselves, and Hegarty gets in again. What a game he's having now. Beyond dots it goes. I wonder if the Italians just temporarily are taking stage fright. Falcao, good ball. Yeah. 
here they are oh just six minutes away from the first ever european cup final they've never been in any uh, final at all in any european competition and they look as if they're getting slightly nervous about it but not now with that play sharika won't get it goal kick United pushing on with it. They do have the wind of the back. Young John Clark, number 15, professional youth player. Holt, a little bit too anxious. Just under five minutes remaining. Now they're looking ball again into that defense. Ray Balmalpus. Dodge can't get to it. The Italians defending. Dreadful ball by Richard Goff. Just when they had the Italians backpedaling. Cherico. Zaretto. Conti. The shot by the captain. I think it was a deflection from the Di Bartolome. Corner kick. And another substitution. It's uh, Oji coming on the pullback. Who scored a goal in uh, one of the previous rounds against Dynamo Berlin. The goal that effectively put Roma into the semi-final. Waiting to come on now. For Sorrento. All of this, of course, also breaks the flow of the play. And the volumes of noise, another indication of the absolute confidence of the Roman supporters that the team is already in the final of the European Cup. Sherico. Conti. Well, I'll tell you what, that was very good play there by, by Conti because he created that free kick. Through the legs and charged after it and he Inevitable whistle for it. Chirico. It's going to be difficult to hear the last three minutes. For the sound of this crowd. That's a free kick. Maldena. He gets the weapon as well. Graziani. Di Bartolome. Falcao. Odi. Jericho. to do is play out time and there is a minute 15 seconds remaining it's still one all with Liverpool a game which started uh, half an hour after this one Jericho after it so is Goss and the free kick to United which you have to take very quickly now Perhaps the last effort to put themselves in the final. All against the run of play. 
Now, Hegarty. Morris Alpers with 30 seconds left. Bannon. Free kick again. All they do is stand in the way of the play. It's a pity that this happens in a game. It's not brutal, it's a bit cynical. Now, we will be going into injury time in exactly five seconds. The last chance. Mills here! <laughs> Straight to the keeper. Disappointment in that figure. He had slanted it, throw it away, more diagonally. Might have stood a chance. Oh, here's Conti breaking away. It's not Conti. It's a free kick. The celebration's a little bit premature. We're 30 seconds into injury time. It's a free kick to United. And about to throw it forward. Up it goes, looking into the sun. And Kick would seem to give up on that. Ralph Milne. There goes Oddy. And it's a free kick. With Sal Cow rising in the penalty area. Referee checking the time very carefully. Looked as if he stopped his uh, stopwatch and made sure that everybody saw it. of course, uh, as I said before when we saw that substitution, just takes a little bit of the bite out of this final flurry that United have and that was Nella getting involved with Hegarty the final whistle should go any second there it goes the European Cup final for the first time. The undoubted jubilation of the Roman supporters and the players, it's happening off, I'm sorry you can't see this, but some of the Roman players ran across and it looked as if they were taunting Jim McLean, the manager. In fact, they're still following him into the tunnel. And I think there was a bit of jostling going on. All that happened, I'm, I'm sorry we didn't see the pictures of that, but it was well to know in any case, it was a, a rather ugly scene developing as they went up the tunnel and looking quite menacing. Nevertheless, the better side have won, the better side have reached the final of the European Cup. That, I think, is beyond question. Let me, however, say that United have exceeded all expectations. Who would have, have dreamt anyway at the start of the season that this club would have taken one of the, the giants of Europe, as it were, into the last kick of the ball by Ralph Bill before they were sure of getting through to the final of the Cup in front of a very partisan, belligerent crowd here in this stadium. And it really is most intimidating. They played uh, properly in stages, but as I said earlier, I don't think they quite had the stature, particularly in midfield, nor did they have one outstanding player in that area that really threatened the Roma defence, who could then play with a certain amount of luxury at the back and come forward with that lovely fluid streaming action that you get from players like uh, Graziani and Conti, and excellent finishing by Pruzzo, who proved... Uh, to be the rapier in that first half that really did so much damage to United. Well, it's always very sad to see a Scottish team go out of the competition, but uh, once again, let me say, they've done Scotland proud in getting here in the first stage. And one thinking of...